This Chef's Kitchen podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Today I'm joined by Chef Nate Netto of Four Street Restaurant in Portland, Maine, and we are here in beautiful Kennebunkport enjoying the Fine Living Festival, which is a consortium of local artists, musicians, and chefs in an appreciation of all that's great about Southern coastal living in Maine. And actually, we're very, very pleased to have you on because you, the philosophy behind your restaurant really exemplifies how to enjoy what's purest about Maine produce and, and Maine products and Maine farmers. Is that, is that pretty much on point? Well, most certainly. I mean, uh, we've been open since 1996 now, and, and part of the, the founding idea of the restaurant was to use local produce and uh, proteins. So what are we going to be making today? Well this is, uh, we're going to make a spring vegetable salad that's got both garden vegetables, garden lettuces, and some foraged items that we're going to pickle up, some fiddleheads. Oh nice, um, I, I, that really piqued my interest, those pickled fiddleheads. Yeah. So great, where do we begin sir? Well um, we're going to start with pickling the fiddleheads which is something you should probably do a day ahead. Okay. And this is, the ingredients I have here you know, are representative of what's available like at a farmer's market and what's available forage right now. But the fiddleheads we'll take and uh, I got a whole pile of them right here. Good. And, and we'll take them and... Uh, so beautiful to use them in season now. They are. And um, we'll take them and we'll pick them. These have been picked already but usually right. there'll be a long tail on there. We'll want to give them a rinse. So I've rinsed these up already. Okay. And then um, what we're going to do is just take a, and make a simple pickling liquid. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little bit of a, a nice clove honey right here. Oh, very nice. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Is that something that you get locally in Maine as well? The it clove is. honey? Yeah. Um, we're going to take a little bit of that and we're just going to... Uh, Use that because you know when you're pickling something, it's yes. about it's really about um, you know the sugar, the salt, and the acid, and that balance and between that all, comes all three together. of those components. And I I love pickled food. Oh, I yeah. really do. I I, my, my, I come from a family who pickled a lot of their vegetables, so it's got a wonderful taste and a great shelf life. Almost great certainly, great way to add shelf life to some beautiful uh, you know produce. So I've got a little bit of honey here. We're going to take a little bit of this Allagash vinegar that comes from Allagash Brewing. Um, and it's a very floral kind of, you know, almost, uh, mm, yeah, the acidity, the acidity uh, varies a little bit. So sometimes we have to add a little bit more acid, mm -hmm. but this is something that we're going to taste to really find out uh, what the balance is. And then we'll just throw it on the stove. Okay. Let's put the salt to it pretty good. Right. Um, and then we'll just throw it on the stove and bring it up to a simmer. And then we'll pour the pickling liquid over hot. While it's hot. Okay. Yep. And then this is actually, we'll let it, we'll let it chill a little bit and then we'll put it in the fridge. Well, we'll take a look at the end product here. These are wonderful. So we're just going to take these radishes and we're going to clean off, uh, we'll clean off the ends a little bit. Okay. And what we're going to do is put them in a little bit of acidulated water, get them crisp again. We got some nice garden asparagus. Well, what okay. we're going to do here today is just uh, simply take them and snap them off just kind of where they break. Where they break. Okay. Right? That's a good tip to know actually. So, and these guys are these guys are pretty big, so I'm actually going to take them and peel them a little bit too. What we're going to do is go ahead and uh, blanch them off. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to go and make a crouton. Okay. Move this stuff out of the way here. And you have part of your family of restaurants is a bakery. Standard Bakery is Local right underneath us, you. and we yes. get a lot of our service bread from them. Uh, we do have our own pastry department in house, but they make great breads. This one has act, uh, happens to be made from all main grains. Oh wow! And what we're going to do with this is just take and slice it pretty thin. Okay. And this is, you know, some bread that you brought a couple days ago, and maybe you didn't get to all of it. Sure. And then we'll just take this, and then we're going to add it to. Uh, um, we got a we got a nonstick skillet with a little bit of olive oil, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll just take it and add it to that, and we'll put it in there and crisp it up real quick. And we're going to take a little bit of this uh, Claytonia miner's lettuce here. We got a little bit of the rocket. So our vinaigrette's done, and then we're just going to barely, barely dress it. We're going to work a little bit of the radish in there, too. Very nice and crisp. We're going to toss this all together. Just get everything going mm -hmm. in there real nice. Mm, beautiful. I love those fiddleheads. That's my new favorite thing. And then, uh, you know, a little bit of the asparagus here, just a couple spears discreetly there. Very nice. And then a little bit of the crust, uh, or a little bit of our crouton, we'll just kind of put that Crush around there. Crush it on there. top? Crush it on top. And then just another drizzle of that beautiful vinaigrette. Of the vinaigrette right there. Wonderful. Are we ready to taste? Yes, we are. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of that asparagus and those fiddleheads I loved. Mmm. Really great, fresh flavors. I'm able to taste the actual taste of the vegetable. 
not masked by any heavy sauces or anything. Vinaigrette's not too heavy. Mm -mm. The asparagus is the asparagus. The radishes are the radishes. The greens speak for themselves. Nate Netto, thank you so much for joining us today at the Chef's Kitchen. We have to head to 4th Street very soon. Really great restaurant with a lot of accolades, and rightly so. Thanks. Thank Thanks you for so much me. for joining us today. This Chef's Kitchen podcast was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download now at audiblepodcast.com slash the chef's kitchen. Log on now for over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player.